and American forces. I I couldn't see them advancing militarily, and even if they had, as as I say, Britain, British, and American forces, even if they did advance militarily, mm-hmm. I think they would be quickly pushed back, as because. Um, people are starting to see Al Saud for what it is, is an imperialist um, monarchy allied with Western imperialists and their Zionist neighbours. Mm-hmm. And basically, I don't think the Yemen would, the Yemenis, they're, they're not happy now. They would be even more angered and in a rage and I don't think they I think they would join Ansar Allah and other Houthi aligned forces en masse if um, the Saudi Arabian military were to advance on their territory yes thank you um, is Ali with us too hello Ali Hello, I'm Hi. here. Yes. Hi, glad Hearing to have you, you here. Um, yeah, it's an honor. You came late, but you finally came. Welcome. Yes, I'm so sorry. I was actually <laughs> okay. driving Welcome. in the streets. <laughs> Welcome. Shall we start um, some questions sure. with you? Sure. Uh, me and Michal were talking uh, here because everybody was late, but uh, Mohammed joined us and then you joined. I hope others can um, come too. Okay. As the first question for you, Ali, I want to ask that um, almost 80 days have passed since the start of aviation invasion of Saudi Arabia on Yemen. Do you That's think right. the Saudis have reached their goals so far? Well, about this point, I should say that, um, well, let me tell you something about uh, one of the interviews that I had with uh, some of these Yemeni people mm-hmm. from both sides, actually from Houthis and also from the other side who, you know, pro Saudi kind of Yemenis. And um, both of them are uh, admitting that um, Saudis have not accomplished whatever they wanted to accomplish. And... Um, Actually, even those who are supporting Saudis in Yemen, they are doubting about the, you know, um, about the real points and real goals that Saudis have told to Yemenis. For example, they were actually um, expecting lots of aids and lots of helps from Saudis about fuels, about um, water, and about every kind of supply. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm talking about the pro Saudi Yemenis, and um, they couldn't reach that. They couldn't have that. So they are doubting about the um, the thoughts of Saudis even. So so far, uh, we could see lots of um, you know uh, killing and lots of massacre mm-hmm. um, going on, but none of the uh, actually um, goals and targets of Saudis were not accomplished. I'm just telling this because uh, I have talked with people in Yemen and um, most of the people, although these uh, Yemenis who are against um, the government of Saudis are not the majority, but all of them, they are telling that um, actually it is the Saudi which is doomed to fail and it is actually the Saudis who are um, giving lots of loss and uh, they are suffering a lot in this crisis. Yes, um, thank you. Uh, in between the questions, um, Ali, can we have your video? Can you turn uh, the of video? Of course, yes. Actually, I'm with my phone, so... Oh, so you cannot join us with your video. <laughs> That's a pity. Yes, of course I can join, but, you know, uh, I have to stay a bit of stable. Let me just mm-hmm. try sitting on somewhere. Okay. I guess it is uh, okay now, so let me see how I can... Uh, I, I don't know if your uh, application, if your phone application supports the video conference, group video conference, uh, I don't know. Well, of course it has some, I have to figure it out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but
But anyway, uh, that's okay. Um, I don't want to ruin your you concentration. That, yeah, that's okay. Okay, your voice is a uh, blessing for us. All right. Okay. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you. As the next question, um, please tell us why the U.S., U.K., and other so-called human rights keepers support the murder of women, women and kids in Yemen by the Saudis. Well, uh, for this point, I have to go back to the uh, to the issue of Israel mm -hmm. and uh, to the issue of USA and Israel, the collision between these two powers. Well, um, first of all, all of this crisis which is going on in the Middle East, not just in Yemen, I'm just talking about the whole Middle, uh, the whole crisis. As the first question to you, I've asked the same question from Ali and Michal, and um, yeah. I'm asking the same question from you. Uh, almost yeah. 80 days have passed since the start of aviation invasion of Saudi Arabia on Yemen. Do you think the Saudis have reached their goals so far? Okay, um, uh, the, main, uh, uh, the main climate goals for Saudi Arabia uh, has never been reached. Mm -hmm. Not even single goal been reached. Uh, I can say only a real goal. The real goal, the real goal has been uh, reached uh, is the destruction of Yemen country, mm -hmm. and destruct the human being and people facilities, such destroying main civilian airports and civilian seaports, destroying schools, mosques, mm -hmm. hospitals, mm -hmm. electricity, oil supply food supply, almost everything being destroyed. They even attacked the sacred shrines and tombs and destroyed ancient and historic sites. Mm -hmm. The free world can see this. This is the main purpose, to attack Yemen and not to, to bring back the so-called President Hadi Abd Rabbu, whom he resigned from presidency before ran away and became asylum seeker in Saudi Arabia. So he was used only to create the aggression um, Arab Gulf coalition against the Yemeni people and was used as a traitor only. Right, thank you. Um, why, um, why the US, UK and other so-called human rights keepers support the murder of women and kids in Yemen by the Saudis? Okay, uh, for the West, uh, such as uh, U.S. and U.K., who claim to be the human rights protectors, they put the interest before human rights. And it is lasting for them to drop one tear, one, one tear on the dead women and the children on, in, uh, of Yemen. They can see what the Saudi war plan is doing, dropping on the Yemeni people, they actually supply them with all this destruction weapons and missiles. They can't see, and uh, they can't see one of the most loyal kingdom lose control a country like Yemen overnight. Yemen has been under the control of Saudi Arabia since the kingdom been established. They appoint the government in Yemen. They funded all the Wahhabi schools and almost used millions of Yemenis as slaves and servants for them. So they made sure the country never been uh, never uh, have uh, independent and, and stay poor, uh, very poor country. Saudi has lost uh, Bab al-Manda, the passage, and uh, Saudi always consider Yemen as a part of uh, Saudi. Uh, Tim, Almost 80 days have passed since the start of aviation invasion of Saudi Arabia on Yemen. Uh, do you think the Saudis have reached their goals so far? Um, well, that would actually depend on what their goal is, uh, which we know their goal to be to, re to reinstall the puppet dictator Hadi that the people have opposed. And... and so if their goal is to do that, reinstall him, they've totally failed. But if their goal would be to terrorize innocent people and murder innocent people Israeli style, then yes, I would say that they have achieved their goals with all of the wounded and dead, innocent civilians, and it's outrageous. 
I mean, I can't even I I can't remember what the death toll is up to at this moment, but it's outrageous. Men, women, children, obliterating towns. I mean, it's it's wrong. Too many that's their goal. To, were murdered. Right. I mean, it, and if if that's their goal is to terrorize innocent civilians, then yes, they achieved that goal already. Yeah, you're right. Unfortunately. And inshallah, it'll be over soon for the Yemeni people. Inshallah. All right. Thank you. As the next question, why do the U.S., <coughs> U.K., and other so-called human rights keepers support the murder of women and kids in Yemen by the Saudis? Well, I think that it could actually have to do uh, with the threat of cutting off oil or jacking prices of oil up way high and in turn hurting other other countries' economies, especially their allies, if their allies oppose them. I think it's partially that. And uh, I think also the U.S. has a debt, of a monetary debt of some proportion to the Saudi Arabians and uh, we see this in the form of military aid and and stuff like that going to Saudi Arabia so we have a debt to Saudi Arabia and we're making up part of that debt with the military equipment that they're using on the on, on the Yemeni people and uh, I think that's basically the reasoning why we're not opposing it. plus their the U.S.'s ultimate goal is Iran. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Yemeni people, Iran's standing with the Yemeni people at this point. So, which who are oppressed, Iran stands with the oppressed people all over the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think it's, it's, a, it's another shot at Iran, like a slap at the government of Iran. No doubt in my mind. And of course, Saudi Arabia wants control of Yemen for whatever reason, strategic and imperialistic reasons for as well. So that's basically yeah, that's, that's what I think. Right. Mr. Abu yeah. Ali, hundreds yeah. of terrorists have entered Yemen with the support of Saudi Arabia and some other countries of the region. In some parts of this country, Yemen, I mean, uh, are occupied by the Al-Qaeda and ISIS. Why the U.S. and Saudi Arabia support the spread of terrorism in the countries like Yemen? Uh, is, is this question for me? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, so it, uh, it is in the imperialism interest to fly in wars in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. And the best way is to, to support terrorist groups such as Al-Qaeda and ISIS, to create instability in the region. And Yemen is one of them. Al-Qaeda and ISIS been active in the country before the Yemen crisis. They actually have lost control of many cities to Ansarullah and Yemeni army because they were supported by Saudi Arabia and Qatar in specific. Mm -hmm. I strongly believe any movement in Muslim countries oppose the existence of Israel will be subject to attack and destruction. We witnessed lately the meeting between Saudi officials with Israeli officials and announced their joint coalition against the Islamic Republic of Iran. So they have brought ISIS from Libya and Africa to Yemen to fight the Yemeni army and Ansarullah and to let the Yemeni army engage war with ISIS on ground while the Saudi use the air to destroy the other parts. Actually, the army has took a control of many arms supplies being dropped by uh, Saudi planes in area believed to be uh, controlled by ISIS. That's right. Um, do you think Yemen's situation will be the same as uh, Syria and Iraq, and will it face the same fights between the government and the terrorists? Yeah, um, uh, yes, I believe so, uh, but uh, on low scale, uh, not intense as uh, as Iraq and Syria. In Yemen, uh, not many cities and areas controlled by ISIS and Al Qaeda. 
Uh, at the same time, the war in Yemen is more harmful than Syria and Iraq because the Yemeni people and army uh, fight in, on two levels, uh, on ground with ISIS and mm -hmm. uh, all happened under the bombardment from sky uh, and they still achieve victories. Mm -hmm. uh, all world uh, analysts knows that the Yemeni people most brave fighters in all histories. The Ansarullah fought many wars with Saudi Arabia and won the battles with poor equipment against most advanced um, war materials. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, Michal, I have a question. Hundreds of terrorists have entered Yemen with the support of Saudi Arabia and some other countries of the region, and some parts of this country are occupied by Al-Qaeda and ISIS. Why the U.S. and Saudi Arabia support the spread of terrorism in countries like Yemen? Well, I think the U.S. has always wanted to undermine the resistance uh, of any kind of imperialism or uh, op opposition. And uh, so I th think that they support, the U.S. and Saudi Arabia support the rise of Al-Qaeda in the region because of it keeps the resistance busy fighting each other, mm -hmm. fighting the other enemy and not focus on the other enemy. Like right now the, uh, the, Yemeni, the Yemen forces loyal to uh, Al-Houthi mm -hmm. and uh, the Houthis and they're fighting Al Qaeda. I believe it's in the southern southeast region of Yemen, and uh, they're unable to uh, concentrate on the actual aggressor. That's the biggest aggressor at this point. I mean, it's a proven fact that Saudi Arabia has has air airdropped uh, weaponry mm -hmm. to Al Qaeda. It's documented, and there's many sources you can find on that. Um, and it's documented. So they're supplying Al-Qaeda Al in the Arabian Peninsula with the, US's, with the U.S.'s blessing, for lack of a better word. Um, and I think it's because it undermines the, like the ultimate goal being Iran, because we do know that last a few months back that 